Hello again and welcome back to the shop. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about my most recent video, the necklace hanger video, and then I have a couple of updates about what's going on in my shop. Several people commented on the tip I gave about mixing shellac and denatured alcohol in equal parts uh, to help avoid runs on a project. Now what I failed to mention in that video, and I went back and rewatched it because I intended to say this, and I guess I just didn't or I cut it out, I'm not sure which, um, I put two coats on 50-50, and then I went to a, a one to two mixture, uh, one teaspoon of denatured alcohol to two teaspoons of, of uh, shellac for a final coat, and it still helps quite a bit with runs, but the first two coats, that piece of oak I've had for over 16 years, so it was extremely dry and it just drank it. And after the second coat, it was starting to look better, but I could see some dry spots. So I thickened up the shellac a little bit, and the third and final coat went on really nice. Um, I did hit it after the second coat with a little four-aught steel wool, uh, and then I just tacked it off with a piece of tack cloth, and then I put the final coat. So I'm sorry, I did not show that in the video. I intended to. Um, I don't know what happened there. I also had a good question in the comments about packing tape. How does something that is sticky provide lubrication for a scroll saw blade? What I've been told is that the, the material that they put on the surface of the tape to keep the tape while it's on the roll from permanently sticking to itself, as the blade heats up, it melts that tape, and that material is what provides the lubrication to help keep the blade from burning the wood. And lastly, I got a question, uh, and this actually goes back to my previous update video from last week, and a gentleman talked about the fan. I mentioned that I, I keep just a little fan out to the side of my scroll saw, uh, and I use it while I'm scrolling. And the reason why I do that is I don't really have good dust collection around my scroll saw. There's a little, there's a little blower that can blow the dust, but the dust doesn't get blown very far. It kind of stays there, and as you're sawing, you'll get a little cloud of dust, and you're right down there working, and you're breathing that. By putting a fan off to the side, blowing across the saw, any dust that is stirred up is going to get caught in that gust of air and blow away from my face so that I'm not inhaling that dust. So for me, um, I think it just, it just helps cut down on what I'm breathing. Last week was our spring break, and um, I had mentioned that in my video, and I got a lot of well wishes, have a great time, things like that from you guys. And I really appreciate that, and, and I want you to know that I've spent quite a bit of time with my wife and kids. We had a wonderful time. My only regret is that there wasn't more time, because we, we had a ball, and thank you so much for your well wishes. Now, because of that, a lot of stuff didn't happen in the shop that needed to happen. I was hoping to get a finish on my cooler boxes. I didn't do that. I'm going to shoot for this weekend to get the finish on the cooler boxes. And speaking of cooler boxes, that brings up um, another comment. I have been repeatedly asked, are you going to do a video on cooler boxes? I had not intended on doing one because there are a number of them out there on the web, but the requests have been immense. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish these five that I've got going. And when they're finished, then I'm going to go out and buy all the materials and supplies to build another one. And I'm going to give you guys a cooler box video. Last night, um, I had a few minutes in the shop, and I thought, well, I've got this X-Acto knife handle that I want to get started on. I had mentioned it in my, my update video. So I got my X-Acto knife out, and I took it out of the wrapper, and the first thing I did is I took my drill bit gauge, and I slid it in and found out that the handle is, uh, the diameter of the handle is 7 sixteenths of an inch. So I went to my drill bits, and would you, would you guess which size drill bit I did not have? <laughs> I didn't have a 7 16 inch bit. All the tools I've got, I didn't have one. So on the way home tonight, I stopped and I picked up a DeWalt 7 16 inch drill bit. So I'll be getting on that. Um, I'll be updating Facebook as I work on it, showing some photos, talking about it. And there will be a video when I get it done. I want to talk about my shop logo. Let me grab my logo. I'm real happy with this. I've got the logo cut out. And you can kind of see it's very delicate. Um, and I stained it. But what's funny is, I've got my initials here. I did not stain my initials. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, that's not a problem. I'm going to throw some stain on those tonight, let it dry overnight. 
I have got a piece of MDF back here that I'm going to get cut up. I've purchased the white paint. We're going to get that painted white. I'll get my logo attached to it, and uh, I'll probably put uh, some polyurethane on that to give it, make it kind of pop. And before long, I'll have my logo, my shop logo. Next up, you guys that have been following me for a while probably remember that a couple of years ago, I had this bright idea to make a latex pin blank. And I started pouring on this back in September of 2014. And I let it set and dry. I made three separate pours. I am now to the point where I've got a pin blank cut out. I've got it tubed and trimmed and ready to go on the lathe. Um, if you follow me over on Facebook, you've probably seen all of my updates on this. I've been taking lots of photos and commenting on it. Uh, and so feel free to jump over there and follow along. But hopefully, maybe tonight or tomorrow night, I'll get the chance to get these on the lathe and get them turned. I am videoing this. There will be a video. I don't know if it'll be this week's video or not. I'm, I'm still struggling to kind of get caught up from everything that happened last week. So I'm really hoping to have a video out for you guys Sunday. A um, couple other things. Cat 6 in the shop. I'm really excited about this. My Wi-Fi was kind of spotty out here. So I, I ran a Cat 6 cable uh, from my modem into my shop. And now what this is going to allow me to do is, once I get some better lighting out here, um, I'd like to do some live events from the shop. And having that hardwire, that Cat6 hardwire out here, is going to allow me to do that without all of the, the dropout and, and, you know, and the broken up video that you get uh, sometimes when you transmit over Wi-Fi. So keep, keep your eyes open for that. Once I get the shop lighting in, we're going to do some live events. But if there's anybody out there that has a gear design program and would be willing to talk with me for a few minutes and maybe print me out a pattern of, of a large gear and then a smaller gear uh, so that I could uh, cut them out and supply and, and build them, uh, please contact me. I'll, uh, I'll put my, my uh, email address in the comments below. Um, I would really appreciate that. I'd like to talk about shop stickers. Now that's my shop sticker. If you have a shop sticker and would like to trade stickers with me, I'm going to put my mailing address in the comments below. If you'll just drop one of your stickers in the mail to me, when I get it, I'll turn around and I'll drop one of mine back in the mail to you. If you don't have a shop sticker but would still like to get one of my stickers, um, send me a stamped self-addressed envelope and I'll be more than happy to put a couple of these in the mail to you. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed hearing about what's going on in my shop. Um, if you are interested in knowing more about what's happening in the shop or keeping up with things as they happen, for instance, these latex paint blanks, um, I strongly urge you to subscribe to my Facebook page. I'll put a link down below. When I'm in the shop working on whatever, I'm snapping photos and I'm posting them to Facebook with comments and I'm just interacting with anyone who's following and, and commenting or questioning and it really, it's really kind of neat if you like to keep up with what's happening and kind of know what's coming down the pipe. Um, I'm going to try really, really hard to get a video out this Sunday. I've got a number of projects in you know, just various stages of completion, but I'm a little bit behind because of last week. So if I don't get one out Sunday, I'll get it out as soon as possible. I was editing my shop update video and something occurred to me. So I ran back out here to the shop to shoot this quick little snippet. Um, Corey Irwin, a couple of weeks ago, interviewed me in his Meet the Maker series. I got a lot of questions on my side as well as on his video um, and I tried to answer them as they came in but my thought was if there is interest in this, uh, if you guys have questions, if you want to include any questions that you might have for me in this video, um, I'll compile all those questions and then I'll sit down and kind of do a, a, a interview myself. I'll read your questions and, and give you answers to those questions. If there's no interest in it, then that's not a problem. I have no issue with that. But there were a lot of people who commented, hey, you know, I want to see the stool that you made, or I'd really like to see the 12 days of Christmas in Tarja. Um, and, and then there were specific questions that were, you know, geared toward me. Um, I'm willing to do a video like that, kind of a follow up on that and give you guys answers to your questions or show any of the tools or, or projects that you might want to see. So think about that. And, and, and if you guys leave questions in the comments below, I'll keep a list of them and, and we'll put something together in, in a couple of weeks. I would like to thank every one of you for watching my videos and for commenting and, and, and making 
this such a fun experience. I enjoy meeting every one of you. I enjoy talking with you. The, the information that we share in the comments on YouTube is invaluable to me. So thank you so much for all that you do to make this an incredible experience for me. I'm having the time of my life. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see Nyla and me real soon. Have a great day.